What is going on, guys? Money Webby here, back again on Thursday. I got a 10 game slate here tonight. I got it broken down for you with my money six. Six of my favorite plays on the slate. So before we get going, if you could drop a like in the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. It goes a long way. Let's try to get over 80 likes in this one. Uh, yesterday, a really bad night. Nothing really went my way, it seemed like. Um, but you're living to learn, like, Corey Dickerson was had a two-run double or something like that. Ended up getting pulled out of the game after that. The pitching um, didn't wasn't getting the strikeout upside that they should have been getting, I would say, based on their matchups. But, um, yeah, just a bad night. So chalk it as an L there. But uh, hopefully we get a bounce back here tonight. So let's hop right into it. First guy up, though, I'm going to go with Charlie Morton here at 11,300. Uh, really bad pitching slate. I think Morton is like the safest option by far. Uh, pitched really well against Oakland just uh, two starts ago. Went seven innings, only allowed two hits. Had seven Ks, got the win, 30 draft game points. So I think he can have another good outing like that. I mean, he's very good at eliminating right-handed batters. And that's the majority of this A's lineup. They have seven out of nine righties. Um, I think he, this is a good pitching environment again here for him in Oakland. And um, I just don't really, like, he's not been giving up that many home runs. He did the last time out, um, but he's been pretty good at limited the long ball, and that's kind of how Oakland gets a majority of their production is just with some home runs. And um, I think Morton can just really limit them based on uh, the matchup with the righties and that he has really good strike with upset as well, 30.6% K rate. Uh, so that's really all i got to say. I think he has a good shot of picking up the win as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. As my first guy, I'm going to go with Adam Wainwright. He is coming off the uh, the injured list, but it was only um, a short one. It was only 10 days, uh, the 9th he last pitched. Today is the 20th, so like it's not like he's going to have um, that much of like, a leash or anything like that. I think he'll be able to go as normal, um, like uh, around 100 pitchers. And, so, and he's been really good recently. Uh, before that injury, I had two really good starts back-to-back against two solid lineups. I'm 32 against the Cubs. Uh, 20 against Philadelphia, and again, some Miami here. Really easy matchup. Uh, St. Louis has really been uh, limiting them so far in the series, and I think if um, he can just be in his, his form that he was before the injury, I uh, can easily get 20-plus drafting points at a really good price tag at 7,500. They're only implied 3.4 runs. Not a crazy strikeout pitcher, but that was kind of how he was getting his success in these two games against the Cubs in Philadelphia. So hopefully he can keep that going. Uh, and keep that forward momentum into this matchup. Uh, and he has a good shot again the win as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my second guy. So 3,900 remaining per player. I think we have the two safest pitchers both on the slate. And hopefully the batters can get it done for us. So first guy up, I'm going to go with Jay Bruce. Uh, he had a short little um, stand with a hamstring injury, but he was back yesterday, one for four. Nothing special, nothing special but an easier matchup here tonight. Against Feedy, a guy allowing 1.8 home runs per nine to lefties. Um, Bruce with the 321 ISO versus righties on the year. And some really solid hitting conditions here in Washington, especially for lefties. Some wind blowing out to right field. Going to be pretty hot and humid. So the ball is going to carry pretty well. And uh, Bruce, he's been a beast so far for Philadelphia. Hopefully he can keep that going here tonight. And a good matchup against a guy in Feedy who doesn't strike out many guys. And that's kind of where the downside is in for Jay Bruce is his strikeout ability. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my first guy. I'm going to pair him up with that Bryce Harper. Uh, similar situation with him. He's just a strikeout prone guy. But against Feedy, a guy that's only striking out around like 15% of his hitters so far this year. Um, if Har Harper can just get some more contact on the ball, uh, we know he has that insane raw power and ability to go deep. And um, he's been extremely good against his former team, the Nationals, so far this year. Um, two home runs, uh, a 1,000 OPS. So really doing well. So hopefully we can keep that going here. And um, I, like I said, the home run upset is really good for both him and Jay Bruce. So a nice little stack there with the good weather and the ability to avoid strikeouts, hopefully, in this matchup. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. It's a pretty cheap price tag of 4400 for the upside. We know of Bryce Harper. And for my third guy, I'm going to go with Justin Upton here. At 4,200, um, he's been extremely good so far in this series, returning uh, two home runs, 16 and 19 drafting points. Another good matchup here against Toronto. Their bullpen sucks, and their starting pitcher here tonight, Clayton Richard, is not very good as well. He has his number so far in his career, the BVP-wise, 13, 13 for 27, 
three doubles, a triple, and a home run. So hitting for a good average and hitting for power as well. And it's the park upgrade still in play here in Toronto. Um, the Angels are just going off in this matchup with 11 and 10 runs, two out of the first three games. And I think this matchup, they can put up a lot of runs again. They're implied 5.5 runs, 4,200 for a guy of his ability behind Mike Trout. Uh, they're going to try to pitch around Mike Trout probably in this matchup because he's been absolutely killing them. And then leave it up to Justin Upton with some guys on base, hopefully for some RBI potential. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my uh, third guy. And for my final guy, I'm going to go with Jose Altuve. I mean, it's been a very uh, disappointing few uh, weeks or months, I guess, for Altuve. He started off pretty hot, I would say, um, but he's been extremely cold recently. But at 3,800 for a guy of his ability in a ballpark like Yankee Stadium, Altuve is a guy that doesn't really hit it that deep, I feel like, when he hits a home run. It typically like just goes out. Um, at Yankee Stadium, a very short park, and I think if he can just connect with one, he can go deep here in this game. It's going to be a, a bullpen kind of game for the Yankees. Their opener is going to be Chad Green. He's been giving up a lot of home runs. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to go after that, um, but if it's going to be a complete bullpen game, there is some matchups that could be open, I would say, in this one for Jose Altuve. That's too cheap in a Yankee Stadium for a guy. Um of his upside and his ability so really good upside and the Astros are really struggling as an offense and I think this is the kind of game that could get him going in a more hitter friendly ballpark like Yankee Stadium in a bullpen type of game so I'm gonna go ahead and lock him in there as my final guy so not much money left over um, but I think there is some good value in the slate so it's easy enough to fill out so we got Charlie Morton, Wayne Wright, Jay Bruce, Altuve, Bryce Harper, and Justin Upton. I hope you enjoyed it. Slap a like if you did. 80 plus likes would be amazing. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to continue to get these plays. Again, uh, last night, sorry about that one. Tough night. Uh, but I think a bounce back is in order on this slate. So good luck here tonight. Hope you won a ton of money. And we'll see you back here again next time.